The recent murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi by agents of the Saudi Arabian government has called into question the U.S. strategy of using the Saudi kingdom as a wedge against Iran. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer spoke earlier today in Tehran with Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif and asked about his government's view on the U.S.-Saudi alliance. The choices that have been made in this region have been wrong and this, there is nothing new about them. What choices are you talking about? Choices then? about supporting Saddam Hussein, choices about supporting uh, Al-Qaeda, choices about supporting the Taliban. This is Saudi. ISIS. You're talking Saudi well, supported Al-Qaeda. Saudis Al supported them with almost a carte blanche from the United States. I think reading between your lines, you're saying that Saudi Arabia is a poor ally for the United States and Iran would be a better one. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that the United States choices in the Middle East are wrong and these wrong choices lead to the uh, disaster in our region. We knew that the invasion of Iraq was a wrong choice, although Saddam Hussein was our enemy. We knew that the attack against Afghanistan was a wrong choice, although Taliban were our enemy. We know that the invasion and attack, bombardment of Yemen are wrong choices. But the, the United States is continuously and persistently on the wrong side, be it in Yemen, be it imprisoning a prime minister of another country, be it uh, the recent incident in so you're, very you're basically tragic saying the U.S. In, in, support of Saudi Istanbul. and in particular Mohammed bin Salman has emboldened the Saudis to do things that you consider beyond the pale, like yeah. imprisoning Lebanon's prime minister, like uh, allegedly uh, ordering the murder of a journalist. I think the blanket support that the U.S. provides to Saudi Arabia and to Israel has enabled them to carry out atrocities that would not have happened had there not existed this blanket support, blind support. Our Elizabeth Palmer taped earlier today in Tehran.